everyone, this is Mark Phillip at Studica, and today I'm going to be showing you how to bring your script from Final Draft and import it into Toon Boom's Storyboard Pro. So what you'll have by the end of this video is hopefully something that looks like this. Um, so we're going to be able to bring our script in, and Toon Boom will automatically create, sorry, Storyboard Pro will automatically create a project with a number of panels based on things such as how much character dialogue there is, how many scene transitions there are, um, how much general information there is in the script. And you'll also have your captions over here organized out into dialogue sections, action notes, and more information if you want it. Um, you'll also have your whole script over here in the storyboard section so you can see everything. Uh, so that's what we're gonna look at today. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Final Draft and make yourself a script. I'm not going to go through this whole process. I'm assuming that you already have a knowledge of how to use Final Draft. So I made this really quick, um, just filler script of basically two people in a coffee shop talking about some job opportunity. And uh, I've put in some scene headings and some action sequences here and some uh, character dialogue and like a fade out scene transition section. So the first thing you need to do is basically go to file and I'm going to go export. Or sorry, we're going to go file save as. And uh, if you're using Final Draft 8 or higher, all you need to do is save as an FDX file. Um, if you're using Final Draft version 7, you're going to want to do this instead. Go to File, Export, and choose XML file. Um, these are both XML, so you should be able to use either one. Um, but that's only if you're using Final Draft 7. So Storyboard Pro with Final Draft 7 files, they have to be in XML format. They cannot be in FDX. Um, but if you're using Final Draft 8 or higher, you can just save as uh, screenplay.fdx. And I'm going to save it into this folder and overwrite what I had and uh, I'm good. So once you've saved your script out, you want to open up Storyboard Pro. And basically just create a new project. I'm just going to call this test1234 and hit create project. And once it's open, we want to go up to the file menu and choose new from Final Draft script. And we're going to click this uh, folder icon here, and this is going to ask us to open up our screenplay. So I'm going to double click on my screenplay here. And now is where we get to basically set up how the import is going to create the project. Um, so we have different categories here, and these are based on what we have in Final Draft, right? So your action sequences are going to be like these notes here, like Bob walks into a coffee shop, stops and scans the shop. That's an action bit. Um, this is going to be like a scene heading. This is going to be a uh, character. Yeah, so there's a character, action, scene heading, dialogue, and transition. So then my dialogue is going to be like this, and then my transition is going to be like a fade out right here. So Storyboard's basically looking at this document, and it knows based on the data in the file that this is a scene heading, this is an action sequence. So what we're, t what we're telling Storyboard here is, what do we want to do when we come across an action, for instance? So with an action, what we might want to do is say create a new panel. So over here in the action dropdown, we can choose what storyboard is going to do when it comes across this in the file. So when it reads an action sequence, we want to create a new panel in our project. Um, when we come across a character, uh, basically we don't, I don't really need it to do anything right now. Um, the character bits are just going to be used for dialogue and captioning. So dialogue and character, I can leave with zero actions. I don't necessarily want it to do anything special. However, this depends on how you want to set up your project. You might want it where you create like a new sequence or a new scene prefix or something when you come across a character or a dialogue tag. Um, that's entirely up to you, but for this, I'm just sticking with none. So for scene heading, I'm going to say create a new scene. So this is actually, if we come across a new scene, we're going to create a whole new scene in the project. And for a transition, I'm just going to say create a new, uh, say new transition. Um, and then for character and dialogue, I'm going to do uh, combine successive elements. As far as I can tell, and I'm a little iffy on what this feature does, but this will combine 
like multiple character and dialogue bits that are between two different action sequences into a single action. So for instance, right here, I have um, this whole bit, which is between this action sequence and this action sequence. So when we say combine successive elements, it should put all this together into a single panel. So I'll click on dialogue here and set combine successive elements. And what we can also do is uh, set a destination caption field. So in storyboard, your caption fields are over here on the right where I'm moving my mouse cursor. We have dialogue, action notes, logging, and notes. And so we can say like when we come across action, we'll want to put that in the action notes section. Character will go into the dialogue section. Dialogue will go into the dialogue section. And we'll say scene heading goes into an action note. So with that, I can also choose save as default rules. And what this will do is basically save all these settings I just did. So the next time I choose to import from final draft, all this stuff will still be here the same way I just set it up. Um, so I can click on import now and I can give this project a name and call this Bob Margaret. Since those are my character names, I'll just leave everything else default. This, what you choose here just depends on what you need for your project. And then we'll click on create don't save my old project and now it's created my new scene and it's you'll notice that it created several panels for me based on factors within my storyboard pro or sorry within my final draft document so if I'm on this first panel what we'll see here is that big dialogue exchange that I had talked about where we have Bob speaking then Margaret speaking and then Bob's reaction and Margaret's reaction so again, because we combine successive elements, this whole thing goes between this action sequence and this action sequence. Um, and what you'll notice if I go down my timeline here, you'll see the captions over here on the right are, are changing. So the idea here is that this is a new action sequence, right? So I see that Bob's eyes go wide and a smile widely forms on his face. And he says, you mean I'd be and then Margaret smiles back and uh, yeah, so we basically have put all of these, all the dialogue inter exchanges and uh, many of the action sequences into new panels based on the features that we chose to um, set this project up with using the tags from our final draft document. And you'll also notice that it created a scene transition here for me. So whatever you want to do with this scene transition, you can do. Uh, and then there is this closing section here after the scene transition. Now, another thing you can do is over here uh, on the panel, you can go to storyboard and actually see the whole storyboard laid out. And we can also add captions if we want to. We can delete captions or rename captions. Um, and captions are useful for putting information in here, right? So we might also at times want maybe like a a caption for camera blocking or something, we could do that and we can maybe set that up in final draft as well. Um, but yeah, that's the gist of how you import a final draft script into Storyboard Pro. So hopefully that gives you a good starting point for your pre-production and yeah, check us out on YouTube and um, follow us on social media and thank you for watching. Have a good one.